What's going on, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again. We have the Dear Green Play Season 1 finale about to happen right now. This is episode 6 from Dear Green Place. Guys, let's go! Now, Archie, as much as I'd like to be at this meeting tomorrow, I'm going to be on a course. Well, these things happen, Councillor Cramond. Ah, lucky for you too. We've been looking at your performance for a while now, and uh, it's not just me that thinks that you're ready to take the next step. Promotion? Oh, Christ, I. How does senior deputy outsource convener sound? <laughs> Listen, your, your CV speaks for itself. Now, the committee know that I'm an absentee, so uh, so you get along there, and you face, and push the council light. You know, Kelvin Grove bandstands an eyesore, right. and uh, you need the new car park in its place. Mm -hmm. You'll meet some resistance from the usual bleeding hearts, but uh, nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Listen, thanks very much for this, Councillor Cramond. Oh, no bother. You just bring me a levelled bandstand and a shiny new car park, and you can choose between teak and mahogany. A new desk? No, of course does. Oh. Now, if you don't mind, I don't want to be late for this course. All ahead of you, Archie. All ahead of Turn ourselves over this. It's a brass neck. I'm getting too old for this now. Shut up. It's for the wains, isn't it? You'll understand one day when you get wains yourself. Oh, sorry. My days are telling women I'm not able to have wains are behind me. Well, you could always adopt. Oh, aye. What about Vietnam or wherever it is, Madonna goes? I'll um, take the pudgy van mate's face trip in it. Lovely. Four dong, please. Where is it you said you're taking them? Glasgow? Put them back. I had to get away with murder that mob. Buying wings. I'm taking them to a better place. I'm giving them better prospects next time you're smoking crack with Jack Osborne. No, no, no. He's cleaned his act up now. Mountain climber. Does he touch a drink for donkeys? Uh, well, he might want to have a word with his sister. Aye. <laughs> Whinging wee munchkin. Oh, speaking of. <clears throat> Glad to see you made the effort for the kids, Mr. Henderson. Who is it you've come as? Aye. You're a top hat after Station Master for Thomas the Tank. <laughs> Station Master. That's going to be your worst attempt yet. It's a fat controller. Oh, I'm like this, Robin Hood. Who are you? Hey, I'm a mechanic. A real one? No, no, I'm in fancy dress, no, for the wings and that. Oh, aye. Like the mechanics read about in all the children's stories. At least he made an effort. But I don't see you having a go at the guy who's just tied balloons to himself. That's my man. George! He says your costume's a load of shite. No, I never. No, I just said you never made the effort. No, look, all I'm saying is, I like balloons, you know what I mean? Who doesn't he? That girl looked like Edith, but that is just could be my mind playing tricks on me right now. All right, boys. Woo! Wow, nice bike. Nice outfit. Yeah. Wanna check my oil? Aha! Uh -huh. Aye. No bother, Neil. It, it's a <coughs> Trinity. I mean, Trinity. I like it. Ah, oh, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> right, you. You're not in Sherwood Forest now. Less in the jungle, man. Damn. <laughs> that outfit, though. Woo! Hot stuff. Damn. My daft brother-in-law is just back for his holidays, right? Thailand. Jesus. Where's that? Near Asia, I say. Anyhow, he's always doing mad things for money, right? Shells and the lottery and that. And he tells me he's bought some coups in Thailand. Is he half he's not? How's he going to get them home? Ah, you don't bring them home. You leave right. them where they are. 
Just send the milk back. No, oh, milk got away back to Thailand, man. The cheese by the time it arrived. Thai yeah. cheese. <laughs> 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 Batman. <laughs> right. I don't know up a wee bit. I've got a meeting to go to. Right. I feel Peeps is putting a bit more effort than some of the others. And that, that Spider-Man, that, that's a higher job. And Balloon Man, the night's been at him already, we are fag. Right, Bo Peep wins. Bo Peep the winner. Hey. That's him one three years on the trot now, lad. Nice. Get up, you! Yeah. I think I hate it better than Spider-Man and... Uh, Robin Hood. I'm a parky. Aye. Don't tar us with a cabbie brush. We've got a trade. Gentlemen, start your engine. Well, right, I'm going to be away for the rest of the day. It'll be spot checks. As soon as you're out of that gear, back to work. Oh, whoa, whoa. You're actually demanding that Michelle gets out of that gear. Aye, ah, and then back to work. What is it you're skiving after anyway? Never you mind. Bye, Bobby Cheerio. But you're good sitting on that. I'd say that's either a funeral or court. Bye, bye, controller! Bye! Right, I'll come and check it out. Mr Henderson, I think you better come with me. Oh, I want to come. Bye, mechanic! Yes! Bye-bye, face-painted kitty! <laughs> nice little bit. What is it with Tash anyway he tries to boss us about? Holds it up as well. Crammed into that cheap suit, giving it the big in. Aye. That's the thing about your suit wearer, isn't it? What was it Oscar Wilde called them again? Wankers. I see. All they people that work in call centres. And they need for a suit. Might as well be in the scud. Mm. Traffic wardens, pfft, Don't get me started. And the rest of your suit wearers, they're on 20 grand a year, dead end jobs. Banana and the briefcase merchants. See your trumps and your sugars, ruthless bastards. They're the people that they suit justice. See the Calvin Grove Bernstein! And of course your psychos. <laughs> Cuckoo! Okay, gentlemen, module five, the dreaded role play. And remember, take this. You're being monitored at all times, and this will count towards your final score. Now, you two, up in the front of me, come on. Oh boy. And off you go. What does your brief tell you? Steadfast Land Ranger confronts confused youth in the park. And off you both go. Right, you come on now. You know you're not supposed to drink in the park. I look away in park, shite at the moon. <laughs> All right, you mind your language. Oh, what's that? I can smell. A sweet smell. Watch this. I bet you it's harsh. Shh. How do you know? I can see it in the young boy's eyes. That might just be the drink. Starving. Oh, I could kill a Mars bar. Tell you. Right, you come on now. I think it's time you got yourself up the road. Help! My baby's gone missing. Oh, this is stupid. He's meant to be a stone boy and he's a woman now. You're doing very well. Right, madam. Where'd you last see your baby? Over by the pond. I was afraid it might have fell in and got wet. It's no a kidnap, Ben. Well spotted. Carry on. He's a rusk. <laughs> What's your boy's name? Jennifer. Oh, <gasps> never presume. <laughs> have you checked her by the ice cream van at the pond? Are there many kids over there? Hundreds and thousands. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That was a little bit too weird. That guy sounds like freaking Rob Stark from Game of the Thrones. Did that woman ever get her wing back? <laughs> Aye. But it's awful took it off her. Weird scene. 
Oh, baby. How long have you been up there? Since six o'clock this morning. And I've got supplies to last me for a fortnight. Did you hammer nails into that tree to get up there? No. Use the block and tackle. What's it to you? I am the chief land ranger. That's what it is to me. I'm the one with the cop on the end of the phone. You're Henderson? That's right. Right, I give myself up. There you go, Michelle. A wee bit of tough love. That's all it takes. Don't flatter yourself, you tashy prick. <laughs> prick. Is it not going to be years before they knock this thing down? Oh, there's a meeting later on today to decide the fate of the bandstand. I'm just trying to raise awareness. Are you no kind of hump though? Being as you are chained to the fence? And glued. Eh? I had them glue my hands to the fence, uh, yeah. in case I'm forcibly removed. That'll show them. <laughs> so, just how do you plan to raise awareness other than bawling your lungs out? I never work alone. Right. But James Bond? No, he always wants a loan shoe. Money penny? Q? Facilitators? No partners? No look crocodile tubs or Starsky and Hutch. So what was Batman then before he met Robin? Every gay man's dream. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need for the Gestapo tactics. Have you started it with that tash? Look, what is it you want here? Oh, it's my day off. I ride at you. Charlie. Look, who's got the keys for the van? Eh, uh, me. It's in that pocket there, I can't even... Right, you stick your hands in his pocket and get the keys. Eh, uh, nice and slow. You speaking his thoughts here? Oh boy. Shit, my watch strap's stuck. <laughs> oh! Yeah, baby! Oh, <laughs> nice to see here. <laughs> nice and slow. Best scene so far right here. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, I'm sleeping good tonight. I'm to the good old days. Collecting signatures on a pacing table on Argyle Street. Well, I've got my doubts about petitions, you know what I mean? 10,000 names and addresses all the way to 10 down the street there like that. Thank you very much. Give it my big brother. I think there's some truth in that, you know. Please well, say, you still let a thing go when you put your mind to it. And the Ravens Craig and all that. What employment that was. What was I thinking? Faz Lane, rainbow flags, whistles, scheme songs. Oh, aye. George Galloway, waving like pussy. Aye. I mean, it's all very well, all that band of bomb shit, isn't it? But save the bandstand. Pfft. Third division, is it no? Yeah, well, look what happened to Gretna. Right. Thank you, though. Bring him to me. This is how you're attracting women's attention these days. Shut up, you. This is bloody serious. Surprise. What are you going to do? Most feed his lentils, mate. He's listening to Linda's fan. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. At this shite. Yeah, mate, where's the statues and that? I think you may have to be a bit more site specific than statues and that. What does it say in your card? Confused tourist looking for the museum? And then you may want to use the word museum. No, no, you'll get it. Here, mate, where's the statues and that? Do you mean the museum? Aye. Which one? Ah, the curved ball. Very good. Pointing out that Glasgow has many museums. Does it? Well, yes. What does your card say? Lost Canadian bagpipe player. So why did you answer him? He's my mate. <laughs> Not in this exercise he is, mate. Let's start again. Here, mate, where's the statues and that? Dunno. Have you seen my bagpipes? What did it look like? Dunno. No, no, no. You're a lost piper. Your pipes are not lost. You have your pipes with you. Where? Well, I don't know. Um, in your car. A hire car? Yes! I'm lost here. So am I. Your car not gets that now. Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Now let's start again. This time, I'll play the park ranger. All the information you need is on your cards. You first. 
Here, mate. Gonna tell him to keep an eye out for my bagpipes. Oh, sweet lord. Take five, everybody. General, your class sucks, man. Class is shite. Puts me to sleep. Mr. Archie Henderson, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> the fat controller. Due to attend a public consultation meeting on the fate of the bandstand later today, is that right? Yes, in about half an hour as it goes. So, if I'll just... Eh, uh, don't even think about it. All right, Mitch. Take his briefcase. Destroy his ID. Ha! <laughs> knew <laughs> it! You know what to do, Mitch. The Council's plans to level this bandstand will now cease to exist. To many, it will seem as if they've had a sudden change of heart. They will see a very caring and compassionate Mr. Henderson. Now you wait a minute. Shut it, you Tashi dick. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, the City and Park Department's position on this is quite clear. We are not in the business of business. Our city's dear green places should remain exactly that. I have to say this marks a significant change in the Council's position. That is simply because we are a listening Council. A serving council. Mr Chairman, the public no longer care about a relic that has become no more than an eyesore. Pardon? The public don't care. At first light this morning, the group began taking up positions in many of the city parks in protest against the proposed demolition, citing what they call the narrow-mindedness and greed of the city fathers. They are many in number, largely peaceful and well organized. So it's hardly a case of the blind leading the blind. Let's take a break there. Ryan! Ryan! What is that? Here, what am I missing? Well, Henderson's doing all the talking just now, so. It's only a matter of time before you go back to fry a tucking, chums. Here, Michelle, you'd be better off behind me. If that gold dyke raises up against you, could turn on anybody. Ah! <laughs> She's mad. Yeah. Brian, get me away from you, for God's sake. Right, come here. <laughs> That's you. Michelle, take my phone. Call the police. Ah! This guy's getting fucked. Ah! <laughs> Brian! Brian! I'm blind! <laughs> okay, gentlemen, welcome back from lunch. Can anyone tell me what this is? A waste of time? This, gentlemen, is the hot seat. What do they call that for? Uh, well, it's from the Latin, uh, Cherium Rusticus. I'm going to do that too. Take a card. Drug mad Wido forgets to take the football. Ah, only kidding, that was me last weekend. Right, <laughs> old woman who has lost her huskies. Oh, hard. Hard for some, maybe. Guy loves role playing. You gonna put a wig on? Oh, I don't know what it was, boys. I went out to collect my pension, and then when I came home, I couldn't find my keys, so I went back through the park, uh, retracing my steps. And now, I find myself here. In the roaster's chair. Aye, that's right. Now, is there anything you'd like to ask me? What age are you? I'm 82. No, what age are you? Cutting about kidding on you're an old woman? Your own wages for this crap? May I remind you, young man, that this is an important step in your training as a land ranger. But when can we go out and cut the grass? Communication is a vital tool. So is a lawnmower. Can I get one? I'm sensing resentment here. So what are your thoughts on this? You've not seen my bagpipes, have you? <laughs> Gavin, do you want some red sauce in your roll, pal? He's still playing it. I was telling my pal Anne-Marie about you last night. She just put up their man. Total dickies. Anyway, I says to her, I know just the man for you. 
Oh, no, don't worry. I told her there was something wrong with you. Anyway, come up to mine Friday night, bring a baby, let her have a good look at you. I tell her not to pity you, or do that loud shouting thing. Two ham toasties, Tina. No cheese in mine. You want a ham toasty with no cheese in it? Aye. Bam. That was weird, Gav. He had the kid only could play the bagpipes, and it turned out I was looking for the burrow collection. Aye, I couldn't keep it up, but... <laughs> Acting's a lot easier than it looks. You fly bastard. You mean you could talk all this time? Aye. I just hate to keep people like Tashi off my back. Oh, I wish I'd thought of that. So who else knows? Everybody knew. Oh, except Tina. And Tashi. But don't tell Tina. I maybe get a hole on the strength of it. Wait, Tina? No, my pal. Anne Marie. Anne Marie McCluskey? Don't know. Might be. Aye, good luck to you. She's a maniac. A total bruiser. She battered Pudsey Bear for frightening one of her wains. And when his head came off, she battered the guy for ruining the magic. Jesus, I'll need to get that body swerve. You're not going to say to Tina. You can't say anything. You can't talk, remember? Screwed up, buddy. Ah, uh, why do? That's you that says you can't act. You should be on the telly. What, Tashi? Unconfirmed reports suggest that some council workers have been taken hostage. And with more protesters arriving, this situation looks like lasting well into the evening. Amanda Ferguson, BBC Scotland, Kelvin Grove Park, Glasgow. Perfectly capable of wanting to push of my own. <laughs> you better get our arses out of there. Yeah, I'm no missing this. those students. Oh geez, class sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Adam Michelle. Woo! What's happening? Well, he says his people are holding some of my crew hostage. But he won't let them go as soon as he finds out what the outcome of this public meeting is. Well, is there any way we can know he's telling the truth? Aye. Attach electrodes to his balls. I want the advice of a lumberjack. I'll ask for it. I'm a mechanic! Well, have you got any cutting equipment we could help get us down? Well, not really, no, I'm a parky. You're wasting my time here. Don't listen to him, officer. He's one wise crack away for his jaws. Ladies and gentlemen, if I have your attention, please. Imagine, if you will, the Glenn Miller Orchestra playing this very stage. When Laurel and Hardy took their bows to an adoring crowd. How sad that these memories will be wiped away by the stroke of a pen of a faceless conglomerate that puts profit before people. Progress before posterity. This is indeed an inconvenient truth. Like pensioners reading a pish. Ah! <laughs> you can't catch a break. Our son has an eight three huggers about. Do you think they make jumpers? You're only the rescue party. We here to watch Tashi take a brass neck. Yeah, look at this clown. So that's what you're dealing with. Manky halfwits have not got a clue what they're cheering for. Oh, what eviction night in Big Brother. <laughs> here, mate. You just start nutting this save a planet stuff, eh? You've got a long way to go, you know. I mean, you smell like one of them, but you're gonna have to chain yourself to something thicker than that. <laughs> Should have kept your mouth shut, buddy. The committee have voted by a majority of four to two in favour of retaining the bandstand. The matter is now closed and will remain so for a further 25 years. I'd like now to thank you all for attending and to invite the members of the committee to act as signatories to the agreement. Hospital. I can't see a thing now. Look at the shackles. Oh, your ass. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. That a boy. You hang in there.
I thought you would have had more sense to come down here after your work. We came down with Tina to try and help you, but there's too many of this mob. Where is Tina? They tried to cuff her, but she wasn't having it. She knocked one out by one, punching in, she's ten of them down the road. Gavin, you bastard, I knew you could talk. I knew it! That's it! Your locker is getting emptied, Wido! Get out of it, pencil dick. Officer, arrest this man for impersonating a parkie. I could do a few of you with that. You, him, the plumber here. I'm a mechanic! He's about to speak. I have just received confirmation that the Calvin Grove bandstand will not be replaced with a car park. Yeah! And the threat of hostage taking was just that, a ruse. We'll now give ourselves over to the appropriate authorities. Nam yo ho renge kyo. Nam yo ho renge kyo. Do you want to get these two off me? I need to scratch my arse. Oh, aye. I crush up all my milk cartons and that. I even put deed bookie slips straight in the bin. Nam yo ho renge kyo. Nam yo ho renge kyo. You have made me look like an asshole, boy, and I've stuck up for you. I just hate people in suits. Forty-one, the formerly deaf chap. It was never the council's position for the bandstand to be removed, and this judgment it simply underlines it. No, can we do that again? That was pish. Sorry, we are live. What did you say your name was? Henderson. Archie Henderson. <laughs> Jeez. Back to you, Moira. Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> oh. Damn. Grime, what happened there? Well, it's what you might call an inconvenient truth. Ah, let's wait for the ending scene. The culpable homicide of Vigar Masterson, I sentence you to 12 years behind bars. That is the verdict of this court. Yeah, he got screwed. Thanks for the team, man. No problem, pal, just the way you like it. One rep, no. I'm gonna leave you at Earth in a worse state than the hookers in the country. Oh! Stupid nightmares again. Hi. I'm looking lost, too. Try not to worry about it, Peter. Come back to sleep, will you? One lucky man. <sighs> or maybe not. <laughs> Michelle. Wet dream. Wet dream, guys. That was way better than last week's episode. Like, freaking miles better. Um, nice season one ending there. There's, um, I'll be honest with one character, like the group uh, with the, the general in the auditorium. Like, I could do without that part in the, in the show in general. Gavin is great. Uh, he finally got caught, and, and that was bound to happen. It's only so long you could do, you know, get away with doing something uh, of that, you know, n nature, and that's freaking crazy. But there's one thing, though, that is going to be staying engraved in this freaking brain right now is going to be Michelle with that freaking beautiful outfit there is nothing i'm gonna nothing else matters in this episode right now to me personally but michelle she is whoo i think i need to watch the matrix right now definitely for sure i can't stand up boys and girls we cannot stand up uh you know for for 
you know, uh, whatever purpose. We're not standing up, guys. But yeah, she is the awesome part of the um, show. Mr. Henderson, of course, great character. My boy, Paul Riley. Um, obviously, some scenes are kind of whack, not going to lie. But overall, this episode was way more enjoyable than a lot of the episodes. It ended out really good. Um, we'll definitely be checking out season two. Um, I did have a question though, because one of the guys, when they were talking about um, Glasgow, they were talking about museums. How many museums are in Glasgow? Um, that'd be pretty cool to know. Um, so if you could fill me in on that, we got freaking neighbors drilling. I'm going to freaking drill them. Um, yeah, if you guys can fill me in on that part, that would be cool. But yeah, definitely a more enjoyable episode. This one way better. So I'm glad we checked this one out. Um, you know, we got, I think it's only two seasons, so it's going to go by very quickly. And um, yeah, them tights though. That's, that's all I'm going to be remembering. That's the best portion for me. But the general's character is just, he's okay. He's just kind of like, eh. I could do without that character. Uh, his role playing was probably his best part. But other than that, like his character to me personally is very forgettable. Uh, and the two guys that, you know, they always acting like dudes. They're, they're very forgettable characters. Pretty much every other character is way better. Uh, you know, Peter, obviously Michelle, Mr. Henderson, even Tina. And she just really has very small portion in the show is way better than half these characters. So, uh, we will be checking out season two very soon, guys. So I um, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. See you next time. Peace and love. Peace.